Hello oh guys, good evening to every one of you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Can everyone listen to me clearly? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Thank you very much. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Perfect. So thank you very much for uh, being always on time, guys. I hope you had a great weekend, uh, that you rest a lot or I don't know, there's a lot of activities to do during the weekend. So welcome once again to another class, something else to learn today. So um, as usual, guys, I'm going to ask you always questions about the last topic that we saw last week, which was about actually there is and there are. What is the difference between each one of those? Can someone tell me something about it? Una de las diferencias es que uno es para singular y otro sería para plural. Yes, yeah, we can say that. Can um, can I make questions using there is or there are? Is that possible? Is it possible to do that? Yes, it's possible to. So how do I do that? How do I make a question? For example, if I have, let me see, let me write something on the chat. No, I mean, if I have something like, there is a computer in my house, how do I change that sentence into a question? Listen, there is a computer in my house. Can someone change that to uh, a question? There is a computer in my house. That is my computer. Say, say that again. Yes, that. Yes, Sorry. Yes, there is. Yes, yes, there is. Yes, there is. But that's the answer for the question. So what's the question? How do I make the question? Uh, there is my computer. Hmm. Not necessarily. Is there some, you are having something that shouldn't be there. Ah, in my house, you say that. Okay. Yeah. Elmer, I see that you raise your hand. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, is there a computer in your house? Exactly like that. Is there a computer in your house? How do I answer that? Yes, there is. Yes, there yes, is. There is. Oh, no, there isn't. There isn't. Okay, that's perfect. What about if I say there are um there are a lot of cars in the parking lot. There are a lot of cars in the parking lot. Can someone change that same sentence into a question? There are a lot of cars in the parking lot. So there are a lot of cars in the parking lot. Say that again. There are uh, the cars in the parking lot. Mm, that's not a question. I, I can hear you very well, teacher. Sure. Uh huh. There are a lot of cars in the park. No, because that's the sentence mm -hmm. said. How do I change that same sentence into a question? And I said 
There are a lot of cars in the parking lot. Are there? Are there a lot of cars? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, like that. Are there a lot of cars in the parking? In the parking lot. Plus question mark in the finish. Yeah, plus the question mark at the end. Okay, now, how do I answer to that question? Let me see, Cecilia. If I have the question, are there a lot of parking lot, uh, a lot of cars, I'm sorry, in the parking lot? How do you answer to that? Yes, there are. Uh -huh. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay, that's, that's great. So we're clear, guys, that we can make questions using there is and there are. That's, that's a fact. So today, guys, we're going to see a new topic. And this topic is going to be a little bit different from the ones that we already saw. So uh, let me just share the screen with you so you can know. Have you ever heard, guys, about countable and uncountable nouns? Have you ever heard about it? Or do you have any idea about it? Yes, teacher. What's some that? Some and any, teacher? Some, um, some and any. Uh, yes, we can use them there, but th those are not necessarily countable or uncountable nouns. So here we have, guys, we are right starting another week, which means that we're just like four or no, like seven or yeah, seven classes away from finishing the module. So for today, as it says there, we have countables and uncountables or non-countable nouns. Today, we're going to try to understand because I mean, some nouns can be both. So we're going to try to verify um, or to try to understand how to use them. Probably some of you already have an idea what I'm talking about. Probably some others don't. So uh, we're going to go step by step. So if you have any question while I'm explaining that, please let me know. Because I don't want you to fail then. Because remember, at the end of the module, well, the last day, we're going to have an exam. And in that exam, every topic that we saw during the module is going to be included. So I don't want you to fail on that one. So you better pay attention, okay? So here we have the first part. And of course it says, there are two kinds of nouns in English. We have countable and uncountable nouns. Also, we can call them non-countable. We can say either non-countable or uncountable. That's gonna be pretty much the same thing. So, but it's also important, guys, that we know that some of the nouns can be both. It means that they can be either countable or uncountable with a small difference in the meaning when we use them in a very different way. We have some examples right here. Whenever you see the letters EG in English, that means example, okay? Whenever you see EG, for example, in a dictionary, if you're reading a book, if you have a book, or if you go uh, to the internet and you see EG, you have to know that automatically, that's the short way for Americans to say, or that contraction for Americans to say example, okay? So we have the word example, plus the word item, plus the word cake, plus the word she can and plus the word time. Now, let me ask you, uh, do you consider that the word or the noun time, it is countable or uncountable? What do you guys think? Uncountable. Uncountable. Can that be countable too at, at a certain, but uh, you know, if we say, for example, uh, three hours, can that be possible? Uh -huh. 
remember the the time is incountable. I don't know why. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember the model fast. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I said the um, the time is countable, but no remember being that rule. Yeah, of course. There's uh, as it says, there's some things that that are going to always be uncountable, and they can never change. So we're going to try to figure it out uh, or to try to understand when a word is going to be or when a noun can have both ways or when it can be countable and uncountable. So this is just the very first part. And then we're going to have a brief information or a brief uh, you know, explanation about what a countable noun is. So I will need someone to help me reading this part, if you don't mind. Me, teacher, body. Okay, go ahead, please. Our words, which can be counted, they have a singular for, form and a plural form. They usually refer to things. Most countable nouns become plural by adding and at the end of the word. Okay, basic what it says there is that one of the characteristics that we have for countable nouns is that they can have singular form and plural form. And very easy, how do we form the plural form of them? Just by adding the letter S at the end of the word. For example, I have an example here, chair. How do I form the plural? Adding the letter S and I said chairs. Chair, chairs, that's easy. So uh, we have to try to remember some characteristics. So of course, this is just a brief explanation about it. Later on, we're going to have more detailed information so we can understand a little bit better, okay? So is everyone following me? Is everyone? understanding what i'm saying i got yes. it teacher. i got it yes okay if the, the countable teacher is the uh i don't know que se puede tocar i no say not not really i mean yes if i tell you chair you can touch it that's 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 for sure but countable as it says there are things that we can count, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so on. So things that we can always count, okay? That's, that's some of the characteristics. But of course, as I said, later on, we're going to see some other examples, which will probably help you to understand a little bit better, okay? So now let's move on to another explanation about uncountable nouns, and I will need a volunteer too. Hi, teacher. Me, teacher, Katia. Okay, Katia, please go ahead. Uncountable, uncountable noun are words which cannot be counted. Therefore, they only have a singular form. They have no plural forms. These words are told of as walls. 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 Walls rather than as parts. They usually refer to abstraction, such as confidence or advice, or collectives, such as equipment or... Teacher, what the pronunciation? We say luggage. Log luggage. Luggage. Okay, luggage. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you for help me, helping me reading. So- uh, You're welcome, teacher. As it says there, uh, one of the main characteristics of uncountable nouns is that they do not have plural form. So we, if we have an example here, information. Of course, in Spanish, I could say information, informaciones. That makes sense in Spanish, but once again, we have to stop thinking in Spanish. 
because that's one of the main issues that we have when we try to speak English. Sometimes we uh, translate in our heads and then we say the ideas. We do not speak like naturally. So that's, that's what sometimes does not help us. So the information in English. So I just said, like, I can say something like, I have an information for you. Even though I'm talking, uh, if I want to talk in the plural form, I can say, I have some information for you. But I will never say something like informations. That's not possible. So that's why it says they have no plural forms. And those words are thought as part of a, uh, uh, or as a whole, rather than as a part. Of course, there's a lot of things such as abstractions. For example, if I say love, can we count love? Can we count love? Not teacher. Not teacher. Can we count money? No, it's incountable. It's no. incountable, even though looks like countable. Why? Because in once again, in Spanish, everything makes sense to us, but not in English. That's what the reason why we have to stop thinking in Spanish. So in that way, we will get like new ideas, new references about the English language, which is completely different from Spanish. So teacher like the hair and the um, water of the sea yeah the like, water hair the, uh -huh, the yeah. wind and the, the wind yeah the those are things that we can obviously count we cannot okay. so even though money looks like we can for because someone might might say something like teacher but i can say five dollars three dollars a hundred dollars two hundred dollars $500 or $1,000. It sounds like I can, and of course I can say so. I'm not saying that you cannot say so, you can say it. But the word money specifically as a noun, it doesn't, uh, we cannot uh, make it even plural and it's going to form part of the uncountable nouns. Okay, are we clear with that? I mean, because I don't know if everyone is understanding. It's like I want to, I just want to be sure that you're all understanding what I'm saying. So here we have more detailed information and in some characteristics which are going to be described in each part. So as you can see here, we have in the in the left, the left hand or in the left here, we have the information about countable nouns. And in the right, we have uncountable nouns. So uh, let me see, for example, let me see. Cecilia de Hernandez, can you please help me reading the first point that we have there? Uh, are things we can count? Okay. A dog, five pencils. 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 Okay, thank you very much. So okay. as we said before, very easy to understand. Countable nouns are things that we can count. Carlos Regalado, let's move on to point number two. <clears throat> okay. Can be singular or plural. Okay. Can be singular or plural. Okay. And this word, guys, the word can, uh, I mean, sometime, I mean, in pronunciation, in American English, I'm going to say it in that way. How do you guys, or do you guys know how do we say lata in English? Does any one of you have any idea how do we say so? No? Iron. Iron. Yeah. Okay, well. Well, in English, I'm sorry, say that again. And? Yes. yes. Okay. So, oh, I can I can listen to someone there saying thank you for calling, like like at a call center. Okay. So, um, 
Well, so I was saying that in English, for when we want to say lata, we say can. Okay, we say can. So how do we say poder? Yo puedo. How do we say that? Can. Can. Can to. Can. So, can. so you're you're can. basically telling me that we make no difference in American English when we say lata and poder. We make no difference. Is that what you're telling me? Can and can. Yeah, that's what we say. That's the difference that we do in American English. When we want to say lata in American English or American accent, we say can. But when we want to say poder, like yo puedo, I can. So it changes the pronunciation. Why, why, why am I telling you this, guys? Because most of the time we, we are used to saying can. And when you say it in that way, if you're speaking with someone who is American, specifically someone who lives in the United States, they will probably not understand what you're trying to say. Why? Because in American English or in that accent, they make a clear difference in pronunciation. Can, lata, poder, can. The only, in, in the only one or the only accent which doesn't change is British accent. In British accent, they say can and can when they want to refer to both of them. So we have to try to understand both differences because in British English, the only difference or how are you going to understand that is just based on the context. But in American English, we do have a difference. Okay, did you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. veo algunos rostros perdidos ahí como traduciendo en su mente, but I really don't know. So, if you're not saying anything, um, I mean, I'm, I'm like, ok, if you don't say anything or if you're just there, I will guess that you're understanding what I'm saying. So, uh, can you please, Carlos Regalado, I guess it was you the one who was reading. So, please continue, please. Sorry to interrupt. I think that. Yeah, yes, you. My best friend is a very intelligent girl. Okay. My two other friends Friends are, are good at sport. sport. Okay, very good. Now, as you can see there, we have the noun friend. That's the noun. And as you can see, we're, we're having the singular form and the plural form. It's just a matter of like, for you to understand how a countable noun works, okay? Is that simply what we're going to do is that we are just going to add the letter S. And of course, if we are using the verb B, that is going to obviously change from S to R because you already know that we use is for singular and R for plurals. That's it. So any questions so far? Are we, are we all understanding? Necesito que si alguien no entiende, pregunte, see? ¿sí? Please ask. Do not keep with the doubt. Do not keep your doubt. If you have any doubt, do not hesitate to ask, okay? So, but if there's no, so I will need Maritza, Isabel, I will need your help with the last point that we have there. Can you please go ahead? Can, can be used with, uh, uh, on a, a girl, the, the girl, numerals, two tables, and some, any, too many, how many, a lot of, or a few, see table below. Below, okay. What, what he's saying there is that we can use quantifiers, we call them quantifiers, 
because they give you an idea about a quantity, but not specifically about or something or a number. They just give you an idea of a quantity, but not necessarily something specifically, okay? So as you can see there, we can use articles such as AN. How do I differentiate guys? Or how do I use the letter A? How do I use that? Uno o una. Uno o uno. But I mean, do you? Preposition. But do do I do I use that with a with a with a word that starts with the vowel? Yes. Yes. When, when necessarily. Mm -hmm. Now the church. I so can, can you ah mm -hmm. when the thing that I naming uh, the name of the thing start with. A uh, consonant, and mm -hmm. when it starts with a vowel, I have to use N. Exactly like that. I use the letter A when the word or the noun next to it starts with a vowel. I'm sorry, with a consonant. And the letter A N when the word next to it starts with a vowel. Did, did, you, did you know that? Si sabían todo eso, right? Or? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. I remember that. Yes. All right, all right. So now, let me see. I will need um, William. Go ahead, please help me reading the just in no questions. Then I will like to have Elmer. Then for the affirmative part, and it is Regina, can you please then help me with the negatives at the end? So we start with you, William. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes or no question. Are there any seats? How many seats are there? Okay. Now, you already, or you remember, because we already saw there is and there are. So you know that any, we use it for questions and for, what else? How do we use any? For negative sentences and questions. Ya se les olvidó, ¿verdad? En el fin de semana. You forgot pretty much everything. All right, so remember, we use any when we want to make a questions, I mean, questions in affirmative Affirmative sentences, am I right? Negative sentences. Negative sentences, okay? I need you to remember that, guys. It looks like today you're just... Pareciera que todos andan agarrando señal ahorita, el día de hoy, después de un fin de semana, queriendo agarrar señal de lo que vimos, like, some days ago. But that's kind of what I mean. It's a Monday and Mondays are, you know, you're a little bit tired and that's understandable. So let's go to the parts of the affirmatives. Elmer. Teacher, there are some seats. Mm -hmm. There are a few seats. There are a lot of seats. Mm -hmm. There are too many seats. All right. Now, let me ask you. If I say something like there are some seats, what do you guys understand? There are some. Some, but I, but I mean, in, what do you understand by that? There are some seats. Algunos. Or algunas. Algunos o algunas. Okay, what about if I say there are a few seats? Mm, pocos. Pocos. What about there are a lot of seats? Muchos. Muy, muy pocos. Mm, and too many? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. A lot of... I'm okay. <clears throat> Now, let's make that clear. When we say some, it's like algunos, 
a few pocos, or pocos. pocos a lot of muchos, muchos. and too many demasiados. demasiados okay that's the difference that we have okay now let's go for the negative form Can you help me with that there there are aren't mm -hmm. any seat they are aren't many seat they are no seat okay as you can see there once again we are using any because we all already know that we use it for negatives and for questions there um also uh we use many which makes part or forms part of the countable nouns as you can see, it was somewhere here. No, it is not here. But when we want to say something like there aren't many, making the negative form of this sum is going to be many. Okay. And no seats, which is very neutral, which means that it's not necessary to use a contraction or to say something like aren't. We can simply say there are no seats and it's like a neutral negative. That's what we have. Now, is there any question like so far with the countable nouns? Okay. That's a no. So books, can you please go ahead and help me with the first point of the uncountable nouns? <clears throat> Are things we cannot we cannot count. Water. <laughs> Life, friendship. Okay. Obviously, we already know things that we cannot count, such as water, light, and friendship. Those are things that we cannot count. Another characteristic is that they are only singular. Singular. So we have an example here that says, chocolate makes you happy. So as we can see here, we have the uncomfortable noun chocolate, and we cannot say chocolates makes, makes you happy. Why not? Because we are saying once again that uncomfortable nouns, they have only singular form, not plural. And that's when you are going to identify whether it is countable or uncountable. Now, the last point, Arabian, can you help me reading that, please? Are, are you there, Arabian? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can be used with, with the, with the, some, any, much, how much, a lot of, or a little. A little, okay. But as you can see, we have pretty much the same quantifiers that we previously saw on this part. Which one is the one that changes? Um, instead of saying a few, we are going to use a little. And instead of saying too many, we are going to say too much. Those are the only uh, changes that we have. Now, Joaquin, can you please help me, Joaquin, reading the just and no questions? Yes, no question. Is there any milk? How much milk is there? Thank you very much. Now, Nidia, go ahead, Nidia, and help me with the affirmative form. There is okay. some milk. There is some milk. Mm -hmm. There is a little milk. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of milk. Okay. There is a too much milk. There is too much milk. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Uh, can I have Eliud? Go ahead, Eliud, with the negative form. There isn't any milk. There isn't much milk. There isn't no milk. There is no milk, okay? There is no milk. Now, in the negatives, as we saw in countable nouns, we used many. But in negatives, for the uncountable nouns, we're going to use much. 
So those are the very little differences that we have between one and another. Now, with all that information that we already saw, do you guys have any question or not? No, teacher. Now, let me tell you that if, before we move on to another one, the word or the noun chocolate can be used as countable and uncountable. How? If I say something like the chocolates of or Willy Wonka's chocolates are amazing. In that context, or in that case, when I say, or when I use the word chocolate as countable, the, the meaning changes a little bit. Why? Because I'm talking about something specifically. And what is that specifically that I'm talking about? Willy Wonka's chocolates. So when I talk about the general form, or the general thing about chocolate, that's when it's going to form part of the uncountable nouns. Why? Because when I say chocolate in general, there I cannot use the plural form. Do you guys follow me? I don't know, liquid. The, I'm sorry, say that again. Um, is uncountable the chocolate because it's, um, I don't know, liquid? I don't know, say in English, liquid. Liquid. Uh, do you mean a liquid? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if we say, if we're talking about like, like the drink, I mean chocolate, the one you drink, is that, can that be countable or uncountable? That's a question for you all. Is that countable or uncountable? Let's say that you prepare something at home and, and then you drink it. Will that be countable or uncountable for you? Yes. Uncountable. So, uncountable. It's a coffee, it's uncountable. It's uncountable. But mm -hmm. if the barra de chocolate is uncountable, you say? Bars? Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's what I was saying before. If I talk about Willy Wonka's chocolates, I'm going to talk about small balls. I'm going to talk about bars. I'm going to talk about different sizes of chocolates. So when I use that in that way, then chocolate is going to be countable. But when I use chocolate as a whole, not as a part. That's why we read that information. Let me, let me go back. We read that information here. And it says, these words are thought of as wholes rather than as a part. ¿Qué significa esto? Que los uncountables, cuando son pensados como, son pensados como una cosa entera en general, no como partes. ¿Sí? In this case, in this case, when I use chocolate as a part, lo uso como partes, like in this case, haciendo referencia a Willy Wonka's or I don't know, Hershey's, hay un montón de uh, different brands. But when I make that difference, I can change that and that chocolate word is going to be part of the countable, see? ¿sí? Va a pasar a ser contable y ya no va a ser incontable. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you understand, Iris? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Now, so now we're going to move on to the uh, to the quantifiers here and some uh, also some articles. So I will um, I will give you I will give you the numbers so you will help me reading each one of those. So Iris, you're going to help me with the letter A, Anna Noemi with many, Arriving with few, Voris with a few, uh, Elmer with much, William with little, then Cecilia de Hernandez with a little bit off. All right, so you already know, let's go ahead. Ah. 
a doctor, a pen, a meal, a class, a college. A college, all right. Now let's move on to many. Many, many cups, many books, many libraries, many flights. Thank you very much. Few. Few questions, few tables, few apples, few holidays, and few countries. Thank you very much. Now a few. A few questions, a few problems, a few issues. Oh, we're, a few issues. Yeah, we repeat that word. We we. Ah. Yeah, it's repetitive. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to much. Much money, much time, much food, much water, much energy. Thank you very much. Little. Little trouble, little equipment, little equipment. meat. Equipment. Little meat, little patient. Patience. Okay. Okay. Again, a teacher. Little, a little bit off. A little bit of confidence, a little bit of sleep, a little bit of snow. Snow, thank you very much. Now, do you guys have any question regarding to some words that we have here or are all of them understandable for you? I will take that as, as a yes. So I'm going to move on. Now, Carlos Regalado is going to help. Can you yes. do the change uh, the other image? The do you mean do you mean go back? Yes. Sorry. Just... And write the ultimate part. Thank you. Uh, I didn't understand what you said. You you were writing something? Yes, this uh, yes, the chat I'm writing. Okay, so I heard someone else was saying something. No? Okay. Finished teacher. Right. teacher. Yeah, yes, yes, just tell me. Sorry, what's the difference in few? Um you and a few. few. Yeah. I was expecting someone to ask me that question, but okay, thank you for asking. Now, what's the difference between that? When I say few, I may reference to small group. When I say few, I'm gonna say this in Spanish. When I say few, it's like I say pocos or pocas. When I say a few, it's like unas pocas, unos pocos. So that's the only difference that we have. It's just como que enfatizamos un poquito más when we add the letter A. That's just emphasizing, that's pretty much, okay? Thank you, y en el caso del libro, Oh, e a little bit off. Okay, when I say little, it's pequeño, right? We already know that. Or or we can take it as as poco too, like poco, poco de problema, like un poco, poco equipo, poca carne, poca paciencia, like that, little patience. But when I say a little bit off, it's un poquito. Literalmente, cuando yo digo a little bit off, es como que diga un poquito. That's, that's okay. the difference. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you for asking. Now, let's move on. Carlos Regalado, you're going to help me with the. Uh, let me see. Uh, who else? Katia, you're going to help me with some. Maritza with any. Joaquin with no. Uh, Vidal with uh, a lot of and Elba Carolina with lots of. All right, so let's go. Okay, teacher, I will talk about the controller. Da, yes, da. I know. I mean, you're going easy. to read the countable and uncountable, both. Okay. The monkey, monkeys, mm -hmm. the schools, the teacher, and no, 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 see, teacher. Which, 
Nobody, nobody see it? Nadie la logra ver or, or it's just true? I can see yes, it. Teacher. Or I probably, see teacher. That, probably that's only you. So, uh, so if you, uh, let me see. So can someone else help me then? Es que ahí aparece generalmente la, donde están uh -huh. todos los participantes. <laughs> pero hay que mover, uno lo tiene que mover hacia otro lado. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, because I have a different version, so my version is not like yours. So I really don't know. When you said I don't see it, I thought, okay, probably the slide was a little bit, you know. Can you see it now, Carlos? Okay. Can you see it now? No. No, Jet? Okay. You Puede mover con el cursor, Carlos, hacia otro lado. Puede mover los participantes. Lo mm, pones hasta arriba, en, en la pestaña negra. <laughs> <laughs> if if you cannot, it's okay, Carlos. So uh, I will uh, I will request. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, yes, all right. Yes. Okay, cool. Now the go ahead. Contable, contable, the uh -huh. monkeys, the schools, the teachers, the boots, the boats? bananas. Boats, because boots, boots son botas. So that's completely different. Okay. About. So let's move on. Uncountable. The bananas. Uncountable. The chinis, cheese. The machinery. Machinery, yes. The luggage. 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 The grass. 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 The snow lily. With we say there the knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay teacher. Some, let's go. Some, some countable, some table, some store, some grape, some cities, some nurse, nurses, um, nurses, because that's some nurses. Mm -hmm. Uncountable, some time, some news, some bread, some sight, some salt, mail. salt, some what this one, so uh, salt, salt. Mm -hmm. okay, teacher. Thank you. Now let's move on with any, any countable, any fort. Any socks, any bathrooms, any waiters, any belief. Beliefs. Beliefs. Now, uncountable. Countable. Any advice, any shop, any transportation, any goal, any homework. Thank you very much. Now let's go with no. No. No countable, no magazine, no chocolate, no pilot, no rings, no maker. Uncountable, markers. Markers, mm -hmm. uncountable, no trouble, no grass, no scenery, no money, no furniture. Or furniture. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, chicos. Siempre estoy escuchando que algunos de ustedes, and I'm going to say this in Spanish because I need you all to understand. Les dije la vez anterior que cuando una palabra en inglés empieza con S, tenemos la maña de agregarle una E al inicio y decir, for example, e stores or something like, um, let me try to find another one here. But there was another one here. Uh, schools. Esa letra E que decimos al inicio, that's not possible. Que se nos vaya quitando la maña de decir esas letras E al inicio. So I told you, les dije la vez anterior, que pronunciamos solo el sonidito de la letra S. ¿Cuál es el sonido? Like that. So we say school. We say 
uh, stores, no decimos stores, no. Que se nos vaya quitando eso. Another thing. Aquí no es a scenery, es scenery. You see, it's completely different. So we have to try, tenemos que aprender a quitarnos esa maña de decir la letra E al inicio. ¿Sí? Are we clear? Estamos claros. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Vamos a ver yes. si a, a partir de mañana los que participen les voy a estar tomando en cuenta eso. Si les escucho una letra E, les voy a estar diciendo, ¿ok? Because I already said that. So, let's go with a lot of. Good evening, teacher. A lot of rocks and cones. A lot of animals. A lot of coins. Mm -hmm. A lot of immigrants. A lot of babies. Okay. Uncounted. A lot of hearts. A lot of aggravation. Aggravation. A lot of okay. aggravation. A lot of happiness. A lot of room. Fun. Fun. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go with the last part, which is lots of. Lots of. No veo los incontables. No, there's, the, I mean, uh, the uncountables are lots not there. Of, mm -hmm. Lots of countables. Mm -hmm. Lots of computers. Lots of buses. Lots of cars. Lots of college. colleges. 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 Remember, acordémonos que en los countables siempre van a estar either singular, singular, or plural. So it's necessary to pronounce the letter S to make the receptor clear, like to make the message clear to, to, to the other person. Now, guys, questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento. So far, so good? Todo bien? Teacher, en el caso de no, por ejemplo, no magazines, no chocolates, Uh -huh. A eso no les puedo agregar este some, entiendo, ni, ni da. No, I, I mean, when we use no, when, cuando utilizamos no, ese no es un no neutral. What does it mean? ¿Qué, neces eh, ¿Qué significa que cuando yo utilizo no, no es necesario que yo haga otro negativo, sino que yo automáticamente lo niego, es neutral, ¿sí? So it's not necessary to do something else. No es necesario hacer algo más. If I ask, for example, uh, si alguien le pregunta, do you have any problem? ¿Qué dirían? No problem. Si se fija, yo no dije, no, I don't have any problem. Sí, no, oh, okay. todo eso. Me fui a lo neutral y automáticamente dije, no problem. Sí, that's mm. no about. But, but is it is incorrect? Uh, what do you mean? ¿Qué, qué quieres decir? Uh, eh, que si es, o sea, si no es correcto decir no, no, no tengo ningún problema. O de un solo decir no, no tengo problema. No, no, no. I mean, both of them are correct. I mean, you can say either or. Sí, tú lo puedes decir de las dos maneras. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre uno y otro? Uno es formal. Y el otro es informal. ¿Cuál es el formal? Si yo digo, no, I don't have any problem. Esa es la forma formal. Why? Porque usted está diciendo gramaticalmente lo mismo la, o la respuesta completa a lo que alguien le preguntó. Pero si alguien le pregunta, do you have any problem? Y usted dice, no, no problem. ¿Sí? Es la forma informal, mas no significa que no sea correcta. Ambas son correctas, ¿sí? Solo hay que saber en qué momento utilizarlas, ¿sí? Si es un contexto profesional y está hablando por, profesionalmente con alguien más, usted va a ver la forma correcta, ¿sí? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, is there any other question? Bájale volumen. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay. So... Any, any other question or there's no questions at all? If there's no question... Yo, yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Por qué okay. en lot of no tiene un, un no contable? Un, un contable. Eh, which one? This one you mean lots of? Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I mean, there's there's uncountable. Yes, there is CI. What happened there is that I not no tenía suficiente espacio there, so I I didn't add it. Pero no significa que solo porque no está ahí no hay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. So, any other question? ¿Algo otra pregunta? Uh, so I hope you all understood. So I'm, I'm going to move on. Now, here we have, guys, a list uh, of uncountable nouns in which voy a necesitar de su ayuda para ver cómo pronuncian. Because, I mean, I already know how to pronounce them. ¿Sí? Lo que estoy tratando de aquí es de ver de la manera en que ustedes los pronuncian y corregir. That's what we're saying. Okay, so Elba Carolina. I will need your help. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in ten. Las primeras diez palabras. So let's go ahead and help me in that part. Elba, please. Uh, I don't know if you're talking, Elba, but we cannot listen to what you're saying. Forward. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We stop it there. Thank you very much. Now let me repeat it. My let me repeat. I will repeat it right now and then you listen and try to practice at home. Homework. Equipment. Luggage, clothing, furniture, machinery, gold, silver, cotton, glass. Okay, now, William. William, it's your turn, William, from this one till the last one, hasta la ultima, from here. Hey, teacher. Jewelry, perfume, okay. paper. Wood, petrol, gasoline. Mm, eso sí no sé, teacher. Okay, say it the way you think it is. Dila de la manera que piensas que es. Baggage. Okay. Hair, traffic. Okay, now let me repeat it. Jewelry. 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 Perfume. Perfume. We don't say perfume. We say perfume. Perfume. Soap. So, paper, paper, wood, wood, petrol, petrol, gasoline, gasoline, baggage, baggage, hair, hair, traffic, traffic. Now, I would like to have a volunteer, algún voluntario. Me teacher. Me teacher. Who is me? Hi teacher. Vivian. Hi. Right. Nidia and who? Who else? Mayra. I didn't get your name. Ma oh, Mayra. Okay. Understood. So, Ma uh, Nidia, let's go with the first part here. Let's go. Food. Mm -hmm. Floor. Mm -hmm. Meat. Race. Cake. Bread. Ice cream. Cheese. Toast. Pasta. Pasta. We'll leave it there. No, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Now, food, floor, food, meat, floor. rice, cake, bread, ice cream, cheese, toast, pasta. Now, let's go with Mayra. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. De Water. nuevo, aquí está la palabrita que les acabo de decir, esa letra E, my please. Spaghetti. Ok. Water. Mm -hmm. Oil. Honey. Honey. Soap. Mm -hmm. Fish. Fruit. Salt. Tea. Coffee. Ok, Mayra, let's be, uh, let's be a little bit careful here. Porque aquí dice sopa y lo que tú me dijiste fue jabón, que es esta pronunciación. So this is soap and this is soup. Soap, 
soup. Okay, that's the difference. Now, it's okay. okay, now it's not spaghetti, verdad? Esa letra E, please. So we say spaghetti, butter, oil, honey, soup, fish, fruit, salt, tea, and coffee. Okay? Very good. Now, uh, escuché que alguien más dijo me por ahí, but I really don't know who was that person. Somewhere. Yo, Joaquín. Joaquín, okay, Joaquín, let's go ahead and help me with this part, please. Mathematic. Okay. Economic. Okay. Physics. Okay. Ethics. Mm -hmm. Civics. Okay. Art. Okay. Architect. Okay. Architecture. Mm -hmm. Music. Mm -hmm. Photograph. Mm -hmm. Drummers. Okay, we we'll stop it there. Now, let me repeat it. Mathematics. Mathematics. Physics. Ethics. Physics, ethics, civics, civics, art, art, architecture, architectures, music, music, photography, photography, and grammar. Grammar. Now, thank you very much. Someone else? La última persona? Me, teacher Katia. Katia, let's go, Katia. Okay. Chemistry, mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. commerce, mm -hmm. engineering, mm -hmm. politics, sociology, psychology, vocabulary, archaeology, mm -hmm. and poetry. Thank you very much. Now, let me repeat it. Chemistry. History, commerce, engineering, politics, sociology, psychology, vocabulary, archaeology, and poetry. Okay? So those are some, uh, well, that's a list of some uncountable nouns. So guys, due to the time, we're going to stop here. I hope everyone understood what we were trying to, um, to understand or to learn today, I mean. So I hope there's no questions at all because I ask about questions and nobody said. So remember guys, this week, just supposed to start working on the platform on section number four. So if you already complete the platform, Forget about what I'm saying and do not pay attention to me right now. But if you're still thinking on that, please try to do it. And if you have questions, do not forget that we are here to help you out, okay? So if there's no any other questions, guys, that's going to be all for today. And good night and see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.